Hi guys, it's Natalie. Welcome back. Today I have for you my waterproof makeup tutorial. Many of you guys requested it on my last video, so I felt the need to share with you guys my secret. So if a guy ever tells you I'm taking you out on a date to the beach or pool, you're gonna be like, yes. Let me know the time and date and I'll be there slaying. Just kidding, but I do wear makeup to the beach or pool and many of you guys were asking to show you my little secret, so here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more requests and also, at the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys a little test in the actual shower, so wait for that. But again, subscribe if you haven't done so already and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I'm first starting off by applying a moisturizer and this one is actually a spray moisturizer one of my favorites for the summer. It's just super refreshing and it's from Caudalie. Most important step out of all, sunscreen. Honestly, I cannot stress it enough how important it is to apply sunscreen in your face, especially in your face. Just because the sun rays, guys, it's pretty intense and they just keep getting worse. So I like to apply 50 plus or more sometimes. This one is from L'Oreal, one of my favorites for the face. Just because it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't leave it sticky or heavy or white either. So really like this one and um, it's called silky by the way silky sheer my face actually looks white on the camera no big deal we're going to move into foundation yes I like to apply foundation whenever I go to the beach I'm that girl basically so I'm going to show you guys my waterproof or what I wear when I actually get in the water in the pool or the beach um, this is actually the same makeup I wore in DR when I went on vacation many of you guys were asking so holy grail this foundation right here. I had no idea it was waterproof actually until um, I looked it up online and it said waterproof and I actually tried it out and it worked phenomenal. It is the complete cover maximum coverage two-in-one concealer and foundation and I use 08 Golden Olive. It's from Jordana. You could find this in Dwayne Reed. I haven't seen the foundation foundation at an actual store but they do sell it online so I'll link it down below for you guys. But what I like to do is just draw a few stripes, like so. And then just blend it out with my favorite foundation brush ever. This one from e.l.f. It's the Ultimate Kabuki Brush. Super easy and fast to apply your foundation. So you don't have to apply a thick layer or full, full coverage because I personally like to apply it just to even out my skin because I am pretty light compared to my body and I also have some dark spots that I like to cover so that's the main reason why I apply foundation but yeah, a really thin layer will do with this one. All right, next step, you could totally skip if you don't have oily skin but I preferably like to apply a little bit of powder in my T-zone just because I get extremely oily. It's not going to make it look cakey or whenever you get in the water, it's not going to like make patches if you know what I mean. I just use the Infallible Pro Matte or actually any powder. Alright, so now onto brows. I'm just cleaning off any foundation excess. But I used to use the Dip Brow Palmate when I went to DR and last weekend. But I recently, literally like a few days ago, started using the Cabrow from Benefit. Guys this thing i swatched it in my head and then i went to wash my head and my face and everything and it didn't come off and i tried to like you know like move it off with my hand and it didn't come off so i was pretty impressed of how actually long lasting it is and pretty water resistant i'm not sure if it's actually waterproof but i'm going to wear it today again if not then this one is a pretty good one for that waterproof long lasting kind of deal it's definitely going to still come off but gonna come off less for my brows I don't like to go too crazy with it or too thick just like a little bit of powder or product on the spaces that I have all right so that's pretty much all I'm doing to my brows now I'm just going to clean off a little bit with the same foundation and a regular concealer brush And then to top it off, I'm using this gel brow, the Ready Set Brow in clear. All 
All right, so for concealer, I have two options. This one I've been using for a really long time is the True Match Concealer. It's not waterproof, but it's still one of those products that you could get away using as waterproof or water resistant. Um, I am using uh, light medium in 4.5, or you could also use the same foundation in a lighter shade. I'm using 06 Olive. So I'm actually going to use the 06 today. So again, I'm not doing anything too crazy, just applying some under my eyes and my nose and blending it with my beauty blender. Now to set that, I'm going to apply slightly, just a little bit of the Airspun Loose Powder. I don't feel that it gives me a cakey look once I wet it, so I just like to just make sure it's set a little bit. To bronze on my face just a little bit, I'm using the Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation in Deep Honey and just applying a really tiny bit in the deep of my hollows like that nothing too crazy i feel like that's <laughs> the hashtag nothing too crazy because you know we want to look natural but still like fabulous all right, so I'm actually one of those girls that like to apply highlight to go to the beach or pool. And one of my favorites is the Anastasia Glow Kit um, Sunburst, just because it's very subtle but still out there, you know? So it's not going to look cakey or like you have too much going on. And then also just applying a little bit in my inner corner. Mascara, one of my favorite steps. I have three of my favorites right here. These are all waterproof. I have the Voluminous Miss Manga, the Miss Manga Rock, also in uh, waterproof. And one of my all-time favorites, which is probably my first mascara ever, it's the CoverGirl Lash Blast, I think. I, it, the name is already off, but this one, it's phenomenal. So I'm just going to apply a few coats of all three. I feel like this is one of the only products that the makeup industry have gotten right on point when it comes to being actually waterproof because let me tell you guys this is the hardest thing to come off all right so to finish off i'm using this lip combo i usually always use just a lip liner and a clear lip gloss but today i'm using the laura geller pal perfection and it's actually a waterproof lip liner in carbonet and then i'm topping it off with the pixie uh, multi balm in wild rose all right so very last but not least setting my face I'm using the makeup setting spray from Urban Decay in oil control and All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Many of you guys requested this video, and it's actually what I really use every day, except for the brows. So I'm a little bit scared for the brow area when it comes to the testing at the end of this video. But aside from that, it's literally what I use every time I go to the beach or pool. I hope you guys enjoy again, and now let's show you guys the test run. All right, so I look ridiculous right now. I know, I just washed my hair though, so I do not want to let it. But wish me luck. I hope I don't wet the camera. All right. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, okay. Do I have to like scrub my face? No, right? Oh, my contacts. All right, first and foremost, this is hot water. I don't think it's good because it's gonna dissolve. All right, so I'm completely wet right now and freezing, but this is what it's looking like. It's stale all there. I know. I know. It's like, what? Wow, this is like a really zoom in, but you know. Basically, these, I mean, they're not waterproof, but they're not coming off, so. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy and do. Oh, wow, I was about to fall again. Why is it so fucking loud on fire? Yes, I wear makeup, and probably this is like a really full face of makeup. But it's what I like. I like wearing makeup, you know? So just let me be. You don't like it, you don't have to wear it. <laughs>